Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen, to Global Impromptu Speaking Session number 195th. Thank you so much for joining in today. As per the agenda, our topic is to Masakib Javed, but he is not in the room right now. So we have very young, very talented, a good speaker who is uh, our new family member. Recently, she has started joining and uh, she has volunteered to take this challenge. For that, let's put our hands together to thank Toastmaster Bandana Singh for accepting this challenge. Bandana, really appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to manage your time, which is uh, minimum one minute and maximum two minutes and 30 seconds. Please, let's try to restrain ourselves in between this time. Uh, this message is actually for me because I always exceed time. With that, let's put our hands together to welcome our very young, a very new host and topics master of today's session, Toastmaster Pandana Singh, on stage. A warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Amjad. Welcome everyone to the Global Impromptu Speaking Session today. I'm your impromptu Table Topics Master today. And with that um, timing, you already know the timings that one minute uh, is green card, yellow at one minute, two, uh, 30 seconds and two minutes, uh, a, green, uh, a red card. So with this, um, you also have the word of the day as regnant, uh, which means re reigning or ruling, like a um, regnant. So rule this stage with the word regnant. And moving on, today's my table topics will be divided into three sections. Uh, depending on your comfort zone, we can uh, accordingly give the topics out to you. Um, you want to choose an easy familiar topic or you want to take a difficult one or you want to just take a medium, mediocre level of topics. So it will be completely on you. With this, who wants to come first? First Anyone come first, sir. First you can call first. anybody and uh, start giving the topics, uh, Bandani. Okay, so uh, may I please have Toastmaster Savita? Yes, Toastmaster Bandana. Okay, great. So you, how do you want to take one, two, three? Easy, medium, hard? Let me try two number, medium. <laughs> medium. Okay, so your topic is Toastmaster Savita. If you don't know where you are going, any road will take you there. If you don't know where you are going, any road will take you there. Toastmaster Savita. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Bandana. And my greetings to everyone present here. If I don't know, then how would I reach a particular destination? I have to know, or I have to plan the journey. Yes, even if sometimes human beings plan their journey, but the fate they, takes them somewhere else. Planning is sure. I think as human as a human beings, wisdom tells us you plan your journey, you target some things, you focus on some things, whatever you want to achieve. You do hard work and be regnant, but you know you're not aware of the fate. It may change the direction any moment, any second. You won't even come to know that it, the, your direction has changed. I have seen so many examples in the families, in friends, and in corporate. They plan something that we will do this thing, we'll achieve that thing, and we'll fo follow this or we'll achieve. But some natural calamity, some accidents, sudden change in something, in health issues, everything changes in the life. You feel that time. What I had planned this and happened, you absolutely feel disappointed and sometimes shocked. But I think fate is such thing, there is no control at all. So according to my experience or whatever experience or if I have heard of my elders or people who have achieved something, yes, we should plan and follow a path, take a journey with the full faith and hope in our mind. Yes, I want to do and I will achieve that. But due to anything, if something happens, don't be disheartened. Maybe upper, the almighty has written something better for you. So don't be, don't dishearten yourself, but continue. Even if you fall, continue a journey. 
you will be regnant somewhere in your life thank you back to you toastmaster vandana thank you so much this is regnant our hearts do are you ready for the challenge moving on to the next speaker may i please have toastmaster sharman okay madam uh which topic 1 2 3 uh 1 medium hard 1 yeah. okay okay so your topic is um toastmaster sharman the biggest advent adventure you can ever take is to live the life of your dreams the biggest adventure you can ever take is to live the life of your dreams toastmaster sharman yeah madam uh, table topic master robin to friends uh adventure yes i have to select a adventure where to go so even a uh, the ship when you sailing a ship you have to have a compass you have to have where the, where we are we have to go so like that maybe your small days your parents and teachers who are directing to go where to go and you have when you are starting going after some time you can realize that's not the way i am good in this way i am good in uh, artists i am good in architecture i am good in uh, accounting i am good in other area so you can select the adventure where to go and whatever the skills you have so then you can sharpen your skills you can improve your things or you when you are doing a sports also if sometimes you can see you are in good in this sport or the team games or athletic so you can select then you can have the extra curricular activities while studying while doing your examinations good good areas you have to select uh, uh, what is the stream and then you can do some professional examinations and you can come to a climax you can come to achievements of the professionally then you can join a company or any other thing or a business or profession then i think uh, automatically when you are in a right pathway you will get a real uh, the adventure where where do you want to go and over to you madam table topic master thank you so much sir so are we ready are we headed towards our path to know this may i please have our next speaker toastmaster navin siddiqui can you please do an av check quickly yeah which 1 2 3 which number <laughs> easy medium hard number 2 2 medium one go okay so your topic is this master navid a minute of thought is greater than an hour of talk a minute of thought is greater than an hour of talk toast master navid to repeat uh, in order to get understanding a minute of thought is greater than an hour of talk 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 yes thank you very much uh, madam table topic master and good evening to all of you my topic is a minute of thought is better than an hour of dog yes true i was argumenting with my sister at my home and uh, i should tell that she was talking and talking and talking and everyone was even listening to her but she was thinking that no one is listening to me so it was uh, i think uh, it was a very bad day for us because uh, everyone's mood was uh, bad at that time 
and then what happened next and another day i was thinking that why i didn't listen to her because it was a little thing maybe we should sit say together there and listen her properly at what she is saying and it was like uh, clearly i should say that it was one tablet and it should be replaced because it was near expiry and i was so tired that i was not going outside so i said to her no no it's okay it's okay so she was shouting and shouting but i was listening not listening to her it was my mistake and the good thing should be was to listen listen her properly and on next day my father went to outside and changed replaced the medicine so it was only this thing so in real life this was the example of real life but in office and other uh, situations we should listen to people because uh, if we see what is bad in their shoes they know what it is so we should listen to people and they will listen to us so thank you very much table topic master Thank you so much, Toastmaster Navid. Uh, moving on, uh, uh, is it possible, Toastmaster Geeta, to let uh, Toastmaster Farooq take the next topic? Yeah. Thank you so much for your understanding, Toastmaster Farooq. One, two, three. Three. Third? Give me, give okay. me the hardest one. Let's see what it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me give you the hardest one then. Um, um I have one. Wait. <laughs> Let me search for it. Oh, you have to search for it. Uh, okay. Toastmaster Farooq. Okay. How did Cinderella shoe fall when it was of her size? How did Cinderella shoe fall when it was of her size? Toastmaster Farooq. Okay. Sometimes things happen. Shit happens. Sometimes the, you are least prepared for something. Okay, you think that everything will go fine. Everything is your your side. You are on track. But still, things can go wrong. Even the shoe that fits you perfectly can fall off. She is running away. She is going running down the stairs, and maybe her leg, he, her, her foot tripped off, and he, she the shoe fell off. It has nothing to do with the size of the shoe. It has everything to do with the destiny and the. destiny has brought her to that place and destiny has brought her to that ballroom to dance with that prince and when she left with the shoe one shoe that prince was destined to find that shoe and that led that prince to her it is all the grand scheme the grand design of fate that has led to it. it has nothing to do with the shoe sometimes i am i i am wearing a perfect size shoe sometimes it falls off you know if i'm trying to run scared or anything i can trip off or anything and it will it has nothing to do with that it's all a part of grand design the fate has led to all those things so always believe in possibilities not impossibility maybe you have come from a small home a poor family it doesn't mean that you will end up poor if you are born poor it's not your mistake if you die poor it's your mistake so work towards it work towards your dreams and luck will be on your side the harder you work the better, smarter and the luckier you get so keep this thing in mind and fate will play a big role in your success and your future endeavors and you will achieve your goals over to you tabletop master thank you so much toastmaster umar 
uh please uh, let me announce this that toastmaster rajiv is our new timer that was an excellent thing take actually this was a area contest topic uh, of some other district uh, where i guess one of the participants said that uh, take advantage of an opportunity take the right shoe if the shoe doesn't fit in you are not worthy enough like tata and sons led by cyrus mistry so okay so you have justified the topic really well moving on my is at toastmaster geeta yeah uh please pin timer toastmaster rajiv and uh, uh one two three which topic do you want oh one minute let me first pin time rajiv Raj. yeah toastmaster rajiv khanna okay i can't find him anyway yeah, okay yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 i can see him. yeah give me let me try three wow <laughs> okay moving on toastmaster geeta light camera action light camera action toastmaster geeta thank you so much light camera action this is our life we have to start somewhere we have to carry on this whole world is a stage as said by shakespeare and we are all actors here we come play different roles and then vanish away from this earth some get a very long time to stay on this earth they get a long part to play while others get a very short role to play but whatever role it does not matter whether you get a big role or a small role to play what is important is how well you play that role that is important so light camera action this also reminds me of my personal experience a number of years back when i was just a kid i remember i wanted to go i wanted to try in acting i want and i got that opportunity i got an opportunity by fate a neighbor of mine who was a director offered me a role of an anglo indian girl so i went there when i went the moment i reached that hall a huge auditor hall with the light camera and everything it was so scary so scary that i the things that i thought was so easy but when i reached there when i faced and that was the first time i was facing the camera in such a big situation i was so terrified i could not utter anything i couldn't understand what they were asking me they were asking me certain questions and i was not able to answer i was not able to answer because i was not understanding my thoughts were totally somewhere else so i was not prepared well and unfortunately or let me say fortunately whatever because life had something else this time for me so that day i learned to listen that things are not so easy as you think don't take it so lightly so life is not easy whatever be the situation we have to be well prepared for it we have to face it in the best possible manner without preparation nothing is possible in this world thank you back to you table topic master vandana a very well attempted topic congratulations so master geeta a very well thought provoking uh, answer to this what i heard one of the contestants saying was when the real time comes to deliver be prepared we should practice rehearse and when the camera is on we should deliver it so you have exactly aligned to the lines to which uh, i actually got amazed with moving on um may i have my next speaker please toastmaster pratish yes uh 1 2 3 easy hard medium let me go with the hard one hard one okay there's a kashmiri saying uh, which i'll be giving you toastmaster pratyush if not today if not today toastmaster pratyush if not today then when of course i was given an option right now and i decided that if i do not go uh, choose the right option today then i be able to choose it the big thing is uh, that whether i can succeed or uh, i can reach the destination but without attempting it today i will never be prepared 
I will never become habituated to this. And that is why today is the day. Today is the day that I want to try something new. Today is the day that I want to take one step forward towards my destination. And today is the day that I want to give my 100%. Nobody can give their 100% as far as I feel. But trying every day is the most important thing. And for people, every day is today. Try your best every day. You will not give your 100% and that's natural. But if you try your best and you are not having any complaints to yourself that I did not try that way and I did not try that way, then you will be happy today. So to make today happy, you must do the best you can. Otherwise, today will not be the day. Hence, if today is the day, then it is the day. And if today is not the day, then today will not come again. Thank you and back to Kevin. Wow, a very well attempted uh, topic. Moving on, may I please have my next speaker, uh, Toastmaster Preeti? Thank you. I must first compliment you for wonderful topics and so beautiful narratives in between. It was pleasure listening. Thank you. Yeah, so now you have to pick one number. One, two, three. Easy, medium, hard. Three. Three, hard. Great. I must applaud my speakers for doing that. Okay. Your topic is Toastmaster Preeti. Enlightenment is the space between your thoughts. Enlightenment is the space between your thoughts. Toastmaster Preeti. A thought. What's a thought? If you think about the thought, the thought will vanish in a moment. So many of us keep ourselves in thoughts and we freeze our action. When I had to go for a swimming class, I had to gather courage. I thought and I thought and I thought and I thought. And it took me a long time to act, to go and register myself. But between the one thought and the other, first thought telling me, we'll go someday, someday, someday. But like my previous uh, person, uh, speaker who says, if not now, then when? Then another thought that asked me, if not now, when, gave me the chance to be enlightened that my life is moving inch by inch. There is light and camera. When will I act? So I started my action right there between the first thought and the second thought. There was enlightenment. Between our thoughts, if we pause, relax, take a moment we then can get the enlightenment from within. It's not the enlightenment outside. There's a lot of sunlight. There's a lot of outside light. There are a lot of people who are giving wisdom, but the true light emanates from within. And when we pause, give ourselves some time and opportunity, you will see the enlightenment. Today, there was one thought when I saw a flash in the WhatsApp impromptu session now. And I had the second thought. Well, I have a lot of work to do. But the second thought tells me, why not? Give yourself one pause. And that gave me the enlightenment of listening to so many beautiful speakers, so many nice topics. And the second thought led me to the pool of environment, which will give me enlightenment. So my dear friends, when the first thought says, why now and why me? Second one should enlighten you. Why not now? Why not me? Let's try it and make it beautiful. Between the thoughts, there's a whole world of possibilities. Enlighten yourself. Enlighten others by taking action. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was quite an enlightening session that we had in two minutes from Toastmaster Preeti. Moving on, may I please have Toastmaster Jatin? Yes, ma'am. 
One, two, three. I'm um, three. Three hard one. Okay. Okay. Uh, Toastmaster Jatan. Purpose is the fuel that powers persistence. Purpose is the fuel that powers persistence. Toastmaster Jatan. Purpose is the fuel that powers persistence. You want to fall back to two? No, 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 no. I'm just thinking. Like, what should I talk? <laughs> great, great. Okay, can I have another topic? I'm not getting anything. <laughs> sorry. One, two, three. <laughs> I'll take with two. I'm sorry. Two? No, don't be sorry. We are all learning. So, Toastmaster, Jatin, your topic is um, house was, house work, homework was work from home when we were kids. Homework was work from home when we were kids. Toastmaster, Jatin. Home uh to be uh, to confirm uh, homework work for kids no. no homework was work from home when we were kids homework was work from home okay. when we were kids okay homework was work from home when we were <laughs> when we were kids it's like a tongue twister but uh okay i'll tell Okay, so homework was work from home when we were kids. And I now that's happened to us uh, now. Like all the homeworks what we're having is all happening in the home because of the pandemic. Uh, we all are doing all our homework in the home. So, um, yeah. So, for like uh, to say like uh, all the work what we have, like, the things now what we have we have now like now we have a lot of advantage like if you have any doubts you can ask the google for help but the thing is that uh, you sh uh, the one disadvantage is that doing the homework from home is not a good one because now i see like a lot of people are copying from the internet like every time i have an exam my teacher keeps on uh saying that uh, this boy or the this person keeps on uh, uh, keeps on copying from the internet from the google so this is the thing what's happening so uh, what, uh, so to, uh, now i've been graduated like i got the one uh, level senior i'm i after my eighth grade studies i'll go to grade 10 because uh, I got good marks. So a lot of people also who got like marks like me, like uh, getting uh, 99 and 100, uh, already the teachers knew that they were copying and they didn't only uh, get the next new level, uh, a new grade, like a different grade. Instead of skipping one level, they have to still uh, go to grade nine. And a lot of people keep on uh, doing this Googles and stuff. So what I learned over that, uh, that is that if you cheat, you never get ahead. If you don't cheat, uh, and anything can come. You can uh, take uh, you can take the advantage of it. So, uh, one more thing is that uh, a lot of my friends and me like editing. So we do digital arts. We make book covers, and whenever we are feeling bored, we make books. And and if you're not getting any idea for books, we make book covers. So the thing is that one of my friend, uh, yeah, one of my friend, uh, uh, made a book cover. I thought that it is so re it looks so good that uh, I I was amazed because he was uh, normally the worst in our place, but uh, he made so good. I got so surprised. So what I did is that uh, I asked. I asked my friends that why don't we submit to one bookstore or something like that, uh, or a book cover like where people can uh, pay us for and making uh and we are making them for books, uh the book covers or the books. So this is a site called Fever and uh we all submitted all our uh, projects, our uh, what we do and what uh 
yeah what we do and uh, what we make like how how good we make so we all did that and uh, for our first project each of us got like uh, 10 dirhams 15 dirhams and that was a huge success because that was the easy one but then the second one when we got it is that uh, one of my friends uh, cheated like he got it from google and the person already knew it so uh, yeah because of that uh, he cheated so he didn't get the chance of getting money so this is the thing uh, what happened so if you cheat you will never get pass ahead so thank you novati and i'm sorry i talked more than 3 minutes no it was a young entrepreneur talking to us and we definitely encourage that so kudos to your attempt and i really loved it um but yes, it went a little over time no problem we are all learning we are all in learning phase moving on to my next speaker may i please have toastmaster andrea kalda toastmaster andrea um i guess she's not there okay so may i please have toastmaster udinur toastmaster udinur yeah yeah okay <laughs> yes so 1 2 3 which number do you want to pick easy medium hard 2 2 okay so yeah. toastmaster udinur how do you do anything is how do you do everything how do you do anything is how you do everything. Toastmaster Udinur. Uh, good evening, Toastmasters and guests. Greetings to everyone. How you do anything is how you do everything. Uh, I don't uh, completely support this this fact that uh, how, how do you do anything will be like how do you everything know we do everything and depends on the different things which we do and all is not taken in the same scale of uh, the thing uh, the work to be done to achieve that. So, now if you want to learn swimming, that's very much different from studying, studying from books. So every strategy, every occasion, uh, every uh, aspect will be different for any specific thing which we are going to do. That's what I want to say. <laughs> Back to table topic. That was indeed a great attempt and quite a relatable uh, association with swimming. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Dinur. Moving on, may I please have Toastmaster Santoshi? Toastmaster Santoshi, are you there? So, which number do you want to pick? One, two, three. Easy, hard, medium. I will go with two. Two, okay. Toastmasters and Persian. Too busy is just a myth. Too busy is just a myth. Toastmasters and Toshi. Of course, too busy is just a myth. Everyone will be saying, I'm too busy. Like when we ask our friends, why don't you call us? They will say, I'm busy. Don't you have one minute in a day to just reach out to your loved ones? This is really hectic. And in this lockdown, everyone says, I'm busy with my parents. I'm busy with my work. I'm not having time. I'm overworking. This is what we listen. We need to take that one minute to talk with our loved ones and that's where we can maintain our relationships with our loved ones. It might be friends, parents, or anyone. No one in this world is too busy. Even the CM, President, Prime Minister will have one minute. They will take time to spend with their family. 
who is busy who is not busy who is not having work everyone will have some or the other work they need to do will have responsibilities and of course spending time is also one of the responsibility we have we need to take that one chance of one minute to just maintain that relationship with our loved ones and anything the what we want to do we need to take time to decide what we want to do to plan what we want to do we can't do anything without time of course time is precious and we can't get back our time so utilize the time in a very useful manner or to the best for ability we can use the time with our best ability to yes to achieve anything over to you toastmaster vandana thank you so much toastmaster santoshi that was quite a superb attempt at the topic really really correct too busy here huh? not a one minute moving on um toastmaster rajiv i'll be timing you and you are next because we are going in sequence of arrival of participants so before topic... before you give me the topic one minute 51 second for the last one okay thank you so much wow moving on one two three so which one I might as well fail big three please three okay so toastmaster rajiv you cannot buy accident insurance after you have an accident you cannot buy accident insurance after you have an accident toastmaster rajiv thank you madam table topics master fellow toastmasters guests <clears throat> have you thought about how many times we pay twice for the same thing for example you go watch a bad movie in the middle of the movie you realize i am really wasting my time but i've spent x number of dollars or rupees i really want to stick it through why why would you do that rethink you buy yourself a snack first bite into it you hate it but you like me if you are a middle class indian you want to eat it anyway what a bad idea <laughs> why would you pay twice for the same thing you paid for it in money and now you are paying for it with this bad horrible taste in your mouth why buying insurance or regretting that you did not buy insurance sounds to me like paying twice for the same thing so if your house has blown up you lost your house now are you going to lose your peace of mind are you going to lose are you going to regret the regret of your decision it is this is a never ending circle have you noticed how we do things first we worry then we worry that we are worrying too much then we worry that we are worrying that we are worrying too much is there an end to this i propose to you there is right now tell me definitively raise your thumb and say i will never pay twice for the same thing back to you thank you so much sir your timing is 1 minute 34 seconds <laughs> Moving on, may I please have Toastmaster Akit, Toastmaster Akit? Vandana ji, I'm going to ask you a question too when you're ready. <laughs> sure, sir. Sorry. Sure. Um, I'm very damn late. Apologies for delay. No problem. Uh, Toastmaster Akit, one, two, three. Two. We'll go for two. Two. Everyone is going for three, so I'll go for two. <laughs> No, you can also go for three. Okay. Toastmaster Akin, age or image, what matters to you? Age or image, what matters to you? Toastmaster Akin. <coughs> thanks, uh, thanks, Toastmaster Bandana, for giving me this uh, opportunity. as navit said salary matters <laughs> and for salary we go for <laughs> like giving lot of excuses i want learnings in my life i want to switch and get other job no sir like it's my family requirement they want me to get married i want to switch to other location so uh, when it comes to age and image see age when we say age it is the experience which we carry through age and <laughs> the learnings which we personally feel 
that is what age brings in when someone says that i am 50 years old he is saying that i have that 50 years of experience which i have been through and whatever learnings and success i have brought in my life so far so that whenever you count your age image itself will build upon i mean there is no need of further image building to that so when when a old uh, when a old toast master someone who is there for last 10 years when he comes he says hello means you are very much aware that he has got an image there is no need of further image building out of it and when you go for image building it is a uh, mere uh, marketing of doing that like it doesn't make sense if someone is having that experience someone has been through that particular path that when he gives his age he says that i am 25 years of uh, age in this in this expert is you are very much clear so i have one uh, small anecdote so i had a boss and uh, when i joined in this company i met him for the first time he asked what is your age and it was my first job i didn't know why he is asking i said sir i am 25 years uh, as of now so he is like that is my experience <laughs> and i was like great sir great <laughs> so they they are the kind of legends in that area they know a to z of that area and that is what like uh, i was amazed with the answer he gave that i have that much experience so you don't have to explain all of this you just have to carry out and uh, you know you know that image came through my mind with his age only so that is uh, one thing and that that's my take on this topic pandra over to you Thank you so much, Toastmaster Akif. Quite a nice, nice, relatable take on this. Moving on, uh, may I please call upon Toastmaster Pragya? Are you there, Toastmaster Pragya? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One, two, three. 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 Okay, ma'am. Your topic is. ये hard बोलते हैं ma'am क्यों बोला? अच्छा. <laughs> okay so your topic is test master pragya just because it fits doesn't mean that it actually fits just because it fits doesn't mean that it actually fits toast master pragya how many of you have heard cinderella story i came through a very interesting experience where one of my friends asked me pragya If Cinderella's shoe was her size, how did it slip? It was a very simple question, and I literally let it go. I was like, maybe because she was running, or maybe she had swelling on her leg, and that's why later on when it went off, it slipped off. So she was laughing, and she knew that I am more of a philosophical person who goes into depth of the question. So I will for sure come with an answer next day. the whole night i was thinking of is it not something which we are all doing we as people of the society you know fits in our culture fits in our families always make us believe make us believe remember that we are fit in whatever we are doing it's perfect for us this is how we are supposed to do it when i was literally trying to fit into every box society culture family relations expectations of my mother my in-laws so many this one question was a bang on for me then because that's when i understand just because you make yourself believe that this is perfect this is a fit this is what it was made for me it was destined for me it's actually not what we are doing trying to do at that point of time is only you have a puzzle what happens if you take one piece from one puzzle and another from another you feel that the color matches it might just fix in but it doesn't and that's what happens to everyone that's what happened to me and the only salvation i know it seems to be a big word but it is actually a salvation the only salvation i got was when i started understanding being fit and you are fit is a different question altogether never try to fit into somebody else's puzzle you are only only meant to be fit into the way you want to be over to you 
Wow, that was quite a take. That was not at all hard for you. I hate you for this. <laughs> Moving on. May I please have Toastmaster Jaya Raghuvanshi, please? Toastmaster Jaya? Yeah, a very good evening. Ma'am, one, two, three, easy, medium, hard. Which topic do you want? <laughs> well, everyone has chosen two and three. I'll go for one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's easy. <laughs> Anyways. Toastmaster Jaya. Favorite holiday destination. Favorite holiday destination. Toastmaster Jaya. A very good evening to Global Impromptu members and dear guests. My favorite destination. Oh, that's really tough because I've been couple of countries that I really enjoyed. So it's hard to choose. Uh, believe me, uh, every country has its own charm. Have a different culture and experience. So we cannot compare any country, each one, ha each country is unique in its own way, right? So I have, what I can say is the countries that I've been to, um, I have been to those country with different people, with my family, entire family, with my sister, with my uh, family friends, and each one had a unique experience. Also, I went to a camp all the way to America. That was, again, another total experience. So each one has a, a good memory for me that I would uh, never forget. The, with people who I have traveled with. So, uh, for camp, when I was alone, I was really, um, I would say, I was really uh, uh, anxious, you know, but full of anxiety because I had traveled after so many years since my childhood and my early teens. And um, I had traveled with friends, family friends, when their kids were small. I never knew them. I was so uncomfortable, but they made me feel so comfortable. They were just like brothers and sisters, elder brothers and sisters to me. With my family, it was fun when we had uh, gone to uh, America, to Walt Disney. When my sisters were young, um, it was a, a really good experience, you know. Then with my sister to England, and uh, yeah, and one uh, experience with my own sir in boarding school when I was in England in boarding. One of my sir just came up to me and told me, uh, I want to speak to you. Would you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, you are audible, ma'am, but uh, we are going overboard on time. <laughs> okay, I'll quickly complete this. Um, so he invited me to one town, Norfolk, and uh, with fourth grade students, you know, uh, to stay on a boat. That was total uh, experience that I will never forget because uh, he just passed away like last month, you know. So I would never forget that. So over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Jaya. That was quite a power of pause scene in your speech. So kudos to that.
Moving on, uh, may I please have Toastmaster Ajay? Toastmaster Ajay, is he there? Yes, I am very much there, Bandana. Yes, I saw you. <laughs> Sir, one, two, three. <laughs> Easy, medium, hard. One plus two plus three, six. I'll go for six, I think. <laughs> that I don't have. Uh, that I don't have. Right, I'll go for. I'll go for three. No problems. Why or when and is possible? Why or when and is possible? Toastmaster Ajay. Just type it out. I'm totally confused as to what you said. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let me type it. It is a tongue twister for oh. you. Yeah. Once more. Once more. Yeah. <laughs> said that in the chat box. Please. Why is that? Why that topic? You know, tongue twister. Ki jage baad baad mos ke upar bolna. अरे तय सी टॉपिक. Why or when? Why or when and is possible? Why or when and is possible? Okay, I, I I will interpret it the way I understood it. So, good evening, everyone, and the the crux of what I can understand from this topic is the the focus is on the word and. Why could you be using and? And when you should be using and that's what I would understand. And whenever it is possible. And why should it be and? Well, we are human beings, and we everything we just love to have more and more. So I would love to have some money and some beautiful food and a beautiful wife and beautiful children. So the and always says if if you're asking me why, I think there is there is. Umpteen number of reasons I can give that why I would put and for whatever I need or whatever I want. Now the question is when? When would I use the word and? Now that's a very tricky one for a simple reason that it's not easy to use and. When would you use it? There is where a person has to identify whether it is a need or a greed. As I said, even sometimes back, if it's a need, then probably. you could do with an or situation it could be an or situation i could this have this or x or y but when you say i want x and that whenever a situation arises then i think you're getting greedy so i think you have to draw that line between when you need that to put that and as as possible and is possible always there it is you can use and everywhere and anywhere and i am trying to uh, basically uh, try to see that the people listening to me here feel that they have understood what i'm saying at the same time that means i'm using an and they are totally confused for a simple reason that the topic is such that it is very difficult to say why and when i should be using and and whether it is possible or not possible so my humble suggestion is to keep it very simple always use and when you have greed never use and when you have a need over to you bandana thank you so much toastmaster <laughs> ajay that was quite a topic quite a take on the topic moving on may i please have toastmaster prashant yes yes so 1 2 3 which one easy medium hard 3 Three, three, three. Okay. Yeah. Toastmaster Prashant, your topic is. Kya do? <laughs> okay. Okay. Your topic is without fear there cannot be courage. Without fear there cannot be courage. Toastmaster Prashant. to big master and came from to a uh, global in from two speakers without fear there cannot be courage if something we can do easily we don't need to take courage then everyone can do it if we are being courage that is something we are attempting that no one is doing so when we are doing something which is new or which is not attempted by anyone definitely there will be a fear like whether we will achieve or not the whether we will complete it correctly so there will be so much fear in the other hand 
in other point whether the society will accept whether the other people will say anything if you are attempting a new thing or not so there will always fear when we are taking something courage or when we are doing something courage but that does not stop you attempting things we have to continuously attempt thing at least we have to shoot for the moon then on, even you will end up with the stars so never stop attempting never stop uh, taking courage since you have fear keep for everything do everything that will definitely give you success and good results over to your topic master thank you so much toast master prashant uh, moving on may i please have toast master deepa in interest of time i'll be quickly moving on now uh, yes vandana i'm here three easy okay easy. i'll go for three i'll go for three <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Toast Master Deepa, your topic is curiosity is the wick in the candle of learning. Curiosity is the wick in the candle of learning. Toast Master Deepa. You want to? We focus? are all curious as babies, but it dies down when we grow up as adults. We stop questioning things as babies. We could ask anything possible. i would keep asking my parents and people around me one constant question why do tears come when we cry nobody knew the answer i mean this sort of questioning is so healthy and unfortunately nobody fosters it in our society curiosity is indeed a wick of the candle called learning we are born here to answer questions sometimes we have questions that are so difficult that we have to keep on the search i mean this the search happens in your subconscious mind for example there's something you've you've experienced it yourself there are some niggling questions let's take a simple example i lost my puppy of uh, a, a, a few years ago and it was actually a case of dog napping so i thought somebody uh i thought the dog had wandered off initially and then i didn't stop i went to a police station i booked a case thinking because somebody told me that somebody was roaming around suspiciously but then i didn't stop i didn't stop with that my questions kept coming who could it be who could it be and when i began to answer that i found out who it really was it was the person who bred the puppy himself and boy did i get the puppy back that's a whole new story for you so that is the magic of entertaining questions had i just stopped had i just stopped the search of my puppy dog tuffy at the stage of booking a complaint at the stage of searching for him all around i wouldn't have found tuffy back because i kept the search on because i kept the wick of learning on and kept my curiosity on i found the answer i found the thief in this case So, ladies and gentlemen, toastmasters and guests, keep the hope on, keep the questions on, and keep answering them. Miss Miss Tapi's topics, Master Bandana. Wow, wow! That name Tuffy reminded me of. हम आपके हैं कौन Tuffy? Deepa, Deepa, you are all set for the winning the table topic competition. Yes, she's thank killing you, Mar. But that's a real story. It happened to me. Tuffy uh, story really happened to me. <laughs> Moving on, Toastmaster Naveen, may I please have you on audio video, please? Yeah, can you so, hear me? One, two, three. Yes, sir. So, so right. one, two, three. Which topic do you want? Easy, medium, hard? The hard ones. The hard ones. Okay. Um, Toastmaster Naveen. <sighs> Ideas are useless unless used. Ideas are useless unless used. Actually, I'm running out of typical topics. Okay. <laughs> friends ideas they they only come into play once they are used effectively so unless and until you do not perceive persevere to work hard to strive to gain anything i don't think you can really accomplish whatever mission you were aiming for it has been said that a heated gold is called an ornament a beaded copper is called a wire a compressed carbon is called a diamond however a heated beated and a compressed person is called a husband fellow toastmasters 
unless and until you have not gone through the agonies of a husband like me, do you think that any idea can really come into, into effect unless, un until and unless you have to go through all the agonies? Yes, that's what life is all about. We keep on thinking about what we, are, what we are going to accomplish and what we want to be and what and, and after our marriage. And after that, the time just changes by. Of course, let me tell you that when it was my 25th anniversary, I went to a wine shop and I asked the seller that I want to buy a wine. So he asked, uh, well, it's for your 10, 25th anniversary, right? Yeah, it is for my 25th anniversary. So he asked me, do you really want to celebrate or do you want to forget it? Wow. I said, I never knew that a wine really exists for that. But nevertheless, there is always a magic cure for that. So the thing is, strive hard, work hard, and leave the rest on destiny because that's what life is all about. Because, and enjoy life, because if you, if you really um, entangle too much in all these matters, you really don't accomplish anything. So life, live life in, in a humorous manner, in a laughing manner, because laughing at your own mistake can lengthen your life. And, la and laughing at your wife's mistake can shorten your life. Over to you, Table Topic Master. Wow, that was quite a humorous dick towards the end. Yeah, of course, that's because, yeah, of course, that's because, because my wife has gone to sleep. So now I can afford all these humorous talks. I mean, sir, his experiences, sharing the experiences, huh? Okay, moving on, Toastmaster Dinesh, may I please have you on audio video, please? Hi, Bandana, can you hear me? Yes, now I can see you. Toastmaster Dinesh, one, two, three, quickly. Easy medium. Yeah, one. I want to break three, so uh, let's go with two. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. Um, Toastmaster Dinesh, what are topics? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, yoga is not about touching your toes. It is about what you learn on the way down. Yoga is not about touching your toes. It is about what you learn on the way down. Toastmaster Dinesh. Okay, thank you so much, Bandana. Uh, so it's, it's really, I think, uh, we can take it in many ways. You know, uh, uh, yoga is literally, you know, we cannot touch the toes with our hands if you go if you try for the first time and if your body is not flexible uh, but you know uh, it's, it's it's just about the experience how you know what you what you learn from that uh, you know uh, when they they have so i just i joined the you know yoga for like before the covid there used to be gyms and you know uh, they uh, they when i went for the yoga for the first time i thought you know the asanas and whatever they have is pretty simple and but but when I uh, when I started doing it when the you know uh, class started I was uh, kind of you know uh, even the small moves were very tough you know, your body won't support those right it's it's not about uh, how you know how uh, how good you are at but it's just you know uh, what you learn at that moment it just teach you to stay in the presence and you know uh, just you know the breathing the basic example that they say is you know concentrate on the breathing not not you know touching the toes or uh, touching the you know uh, neck or maybe you know some other poses some other asanas but uh, it just is the presence of mind that keeps you uh, all that one hour training uh, one hour you know uh, that uh, yoga that that will definitely uh, help you and that will learn you you know that will keep you in uh, presence moment and then uh, keep moving you so yeah it's not about the touching the toes it's about you know what you learn from you know uh, uh, taking the breath to uh, exa uh, raising the breath. So yeah, that's what my take on this. And then over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Dinesh. Moving on, may I please have Toastmaster Mubina? Is she there? I think she has left. Okay, finally, hi Rupa. <laughs> Toastmaster Amjadi, you are left. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Life is tough. Let's make it tougher. Three, okay. Uh, Toastmaster Amjad, uh, your topic is topic made a waste. Oh yeah, I'm repeating that topic. Purpose is the fuel that powers persistence. Purpose is the fuel that powers persistence. 
was Master Amjad. Purpose. Uh, purpose is the fuel that powers persistence. Put it in the chat. Yes. Thank you so much, Madam Topics Master. Purpose is the fuel that powers persistence. I completely agree with the statement. I never thought I will be speaking in front of the people. I became Toastmaster accidentally, got into different clubs, started speaking. People started appreciating me. That was fake. I know that. Now I know that. That time I did not realize. Then with their fake motivation, I realized I can do it. But their fake motivation actually made my purpose of speaking. Then I was kind of confident that I can speak. Then later I realized I can speak, but I cannot make sense to every single person. Then I started learning more and more again and again. And the process is still going on. <clears throat> but one thing I learned through the process that now my purpose is speaking and inspiring. Inspiring not people who are better than me, the people who are on their way, who are younger than me, are behind me. There are millions and billions of people who are trying to achieve what I have already achieved. So my purpose is now to inspire those people. That's the reason I actively participate in social media, on social media, make videos, do my best. Whosoever is watching, some of them are not liking it. Some of them are loving it. My purpose is being, being met by the person who is second, who is loving it praying for me and changing, saying that his or her life is being changed with my words. So my purpose is done. That was my purpose. And now <clears throat> this purpose has seriously powered my persistent. Would you believe that in last one and a half years, I have made more than 1000 proper videos and uploaded on social media on all my channels. People think of making a couple of them and still thinking, how do I look like? How do I being perceived? And how do I sound like? The confusion takes their ears and ears. And now I'm not confused anymore. This purpose of inspiring people with my little vulnerable stories has kind of, you know, powered <clears throat> the persistence. Now, every single day, even I reach home late after 10 PM, I make sure at least one video is made and uploaded on social media. So ladies and gentlemen, I completely agree with the statement. Purpose is the fuel that powers persistent. I'm persistent because my purpose is to inspire everyone who is trying to achieve what I have already achieved. Thank you so much and back to you. Okay, so this brings me to the end of it. <laughs> I'm done. Now, Bandana's turn. Bandana. I'm done. <laughs> uh, may I have the honor of presenting your topic, Bandana? Yes, sir. One, two, or three? Is that anything? <laughs> three it is. Okay, so if necessity is the mother of invention, who is the father? If necessity is the mother of invention, who is the father? Vandana. If someone would have asked me what came first, hen or the egg, I would have been confused, okay, it can be anything, maybe hen, because that is how the egg came. Or maybe egg from where the hen would have come. But if you ask me that who is the father of someone, I seriously don't care. <laughs> but even if I have to make an attempt, if necessity is the mother of invention, then as for me, curiosity is the father of invention. Unless you are not curious, you will not strive to search for the answers. And unless you are not curious enough to make it a passion for yourself, you will not pick the right direction. It is that curiosity of Newton because everyone saw that apple falls from the tree. So what? Everyone saw, experienced that yes, bottle falls down. So what? But it was his curiosity that why did it fell 
at, at all at first place. It was his curiosity that led to the invention. So yes, necessity, it was not there. So who says that necessity is most important to drive up to your, up to your passion and dreams? It is your curiosity, the, um, the habit of asking question to yourself and to everyone out there. Why this, why that, where are you going? Be it logical or illogical, be it your neighbors, your mom, your nagging manager, be it anyone. It is actually curiosity which drives them to ask you question. Where are you going? Because they care for you. How much is the work complete? How much is left? It's your nagging manager because he's curious to know what is happening next. Where are you? Where are you stuck? So overall in all, I'll conclude on this statement. If you say necessity is the mother of invention, my friend, curiosity takes a step higher and is the father of all things happening around us. So just don't give a damn what happens and what is right or wrong. Just live the way you wish to with curiosity. Nicely done. Two minutes, 10 seconds. And by the way, the other answer I received, poverty. Very nicely done. Curiosity, yeah. poverty. Good job. True. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Rajiv. Tosmaza Bandana. Let me just uh, admit right in front of you all, ladies and gentlemen, I believe it's my <clears throat> understanding and my observation. Uh, one of the toughest topics masters is Tosmas Umar Farooq. And today Bandana has killed him without even a mercy. Bandana, seriously, the way you have thrown topics, seriously, it was blowing. I believe everyone said, wonderful. I disagree. I disagree. <laughs> no, no, I'm telling you, honestly, I, I, I told you, like, you are one of the, you can say that uh, uh, challenging Toastmasters are, uh, are topics master, but Bandana, Bandana has killed it. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to be biased, trust me. And Bandana, I seriously, like, I don't know your topics. And, and see, Toastmas Ajay, he was saying, and when, where, where, and still he's saying, like, what did I do, actually? Did I do any crime? But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, it was a wonderful session. I would not take much of your time. But with that, let's put our hands together to thank Toastmas Bandana. It was her impromptu topics master's role. And uh, officially, Toastmas Akib Javed was there, but Akib can take later. Ladies and gentlemen, with that power vested in me as a host of this very meeting, I adjourn the meeting. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.